Hi, welcome to another video in this series of SQL Server Index Internals and today I am going to talk about Clustered Index Seek and Range Scan. Now let me use this uh, PowerPoint feature to draw a quick uh, B tree structure of how an index B tree structure really looks. So the, here is your root page and let's say you have an intermediate level with three pages and then you have a couple of pages uh, at the leaf level. Now there's really no big deal in understanding how scan works or how seek works but just let me set some foundation. So when SQL Server is scanning, let's say it's a table scan or a clustered index scan, you are essentially scanning all the pages at the leaf level. So you kind of start from the first page and just keep scanning and go all the way to the last page. So every page in the leaf level is touched. So scanning means that you're kind of reading all the data, which means more IO or probably maximum IO. Seek on the other hand would mean that you are seeking for a particular range of rows or a particular set of data and you traverse the B tree structure. So you basically move from the root page to the intermediate level and from intermediate to the leaf level. That really would be seeking. And then of course there is a lot of generalization uh, by the community that seek is always good, scan is always bad because scan is always scanning a lot of data and seek is only touching the required set of data. Um, I think it all depends and there should be no such generalization. What is most important is when we are dealing with indexes and we are talking about seeking and scanning, also keep an eye on how many pages does a particular operation read and that will give you more insights into what's really going on. However, this video today that I am recording is about clustered index seek and how sometimes that could be misleading and that is where range scan thing comes into play. So what's happening to my PowerPoint? So let's go and look into a quick demo to understand clustered index seek and the range scan thing. And I will switch to the VM. So here I have, I'm using Adventure Works, a very popular database that's given out by Microsoft and I'm sure you know about it and I'm going to turn on set statistics IO on. Now just to set the foundation if I do select star from this database database log I have turned on actual execution plan or just press Control M I click on execute and when you look into the execution plan you can see that there is a table scan out there and because this table is a heap there is no clustered index and there is no order of pages. Uh, this is a table scan. Now remember clustered index scan and table scan essentially mean the same thing. You, you're touching all the pages uh, on the table. I have turned on IO on and now I will do a clustered index scan. Pretty straightforward. I say select star from person.contact and I execute this and when I turn into uh, this tab execution plan you can see that there is a clustered index scan happening. When I look into the messages tab here, I can see that logical reads 572 pages have been read. And as I said earlier, this is what you have to keep an eye on to see what's really going on with your indexes and whether seek is good or scan is bad, you need to keep an eye on this. Let's get back to the uh, editor. And now I am going to seek on this clustered index. So select star was without any predicate. I'm touching all the pages, well understood. When I get into clustered index seek, I'm saying select star from this table. I want all the data um, from this table where contact ID is equal to one. And uh, also note that star, which means I'm reading all the columns. When I execute this statement and I look into the execution plan and now you will see a seek operation happening. And um, this makes sense because I'm only wanting that one record that matches my um, criteria and because um, it's actually a, a primary key uh, and there's uniqueness. So there's just one matching record. When I go to the messages tab, you can see that we have just touched two pages and probably this is just the root page and uh, the leaf level page because the table is relatively very small. Now is the fun part where seek sometimes could be misleading when I change this equal to and 
make it greater than and what you will observe now and this is where it's a bit misleading and when I execute this now most folks would think that this is going to be a scan because you when you say greater than one and you are just kind of scanning but when you go into execution plan you can see that it is still a seek operation and but what is surprising here is when you go and look into the messages tab you can see you basically reading the entire table again and remember this number 572 that you saw when we were doing clustered index scan so essentially you are again scanning the uh, table so it's not that seek is always better or scan is always bad it all really depends on how much io is occurring behind the scene and that's why i say keeping a tap on sql server io is very critical so what's going on behind the scene it's basically what i kind of term as range scan that is happening which means when you say contact id greater than one and there is a clustered index on contact id you are locating this uh, record number one and because the data is sorted by contact id you seek on one and from that point one you start scanning the rest of the data and that is why this is called as range scan and unfortunately clustered index seek here uh, the iterator is not very intuitive and it does not tell you that a range scan is happening but behind the scene it is actually a scan also look at the definition of clustered index seek which is given by microsoft in this tooltip just under the heading clustered index seek is scanning a particular range of rows from a clustered index so yeah you are you're still scanning a particular set of rows well this demo has a lot of other stuff about non clustered index seek and i will record some other video um, about non clustered index so this quick video was just to kind of demystify um, about uh, cluster index seek and range scan with this uh, thank you very much for your time today hope there was something new for you to learn i am available on twitter twitter.com slash a underscore bunsel that's where you can follow me um, goodbye until next time see you in another video soon